All right, time for first flight. So let's power it up. So I'm going to try this and stabilize and uh, the first thing I've got to uh, I've done is I've put on channel 9 uh, e-stop so function 31 so that's RC9 uh, option to 31 which is e-stop and that means that when I arm and hit e-stop the motor stop. Now, the first thing I want to check is that the motor is not spinning too um, fast. On arming, and that seems okay. And then if I, if I throttle up a little bit, it'll go from spin arm to spin min. And again, I want that to be sort of biting, but not too, too aggressive. And there you can hear it dropping up and that sounded okay. So the next thing I'm going to check is that um, the copter moves in the right direction with a little bit of throttle. So what I'm going to do is try and pitch up and then forward and then roll left, roll right, just with enough throttle to give me a bit of lift. And this just sort of um, while the copter's still on the ground allows me to make sure that uh, it's working in the right direction. So here we go, arming, drop off a bit, pitch up, pitch forward, roll left, roll right. So that was all correct, all in the right direction. So that's really good news. So I just checked the motors and they seem cool. And I think the other thing to check was that I had any control at all. If you remember, I reduced the, my pits from the marmot by 50%. And uh, the danger is if you've got two low pits in it, the control is very, very sloppy. And you can, can't control the thing, but that seemed okay to me, seemed uh, tight enough. So I think the next thing to do is try and get it off the ground with a little bit of a hover and uh, e-stop at the ready to uh, um, stop disaster happening if disaster happens. Okay, so arming, throttling up. And that is beautiful and actually the control looked amazing so this is one of the good things about having the harmonic notch set up from the get-go is you can get very very low noise which makes the pids that much more effective so the motors are cool so that's good news so I might this is the one thing you got to you only want to hover for a few seconds to start with check that you haven't got too much noise coming through the motors in particular because i've got the gyro settings set so high there's a danger that i'm letting too much noise through but uh, that really was remarkably good so i think i'll try try that one more and uh, i can see whether there's uh, see if i can get a log um so we'll try that all right here we go
Anyways, that's pretty good. Motor's still cool enough. And a little bit of a little bit of warmth, but I guess that's what you'd expect. But uh, certainly nothing to be aware of. So what I'll do is I will try pulling the log and see what we've got. <laughs> 